Hi everybody, my name is Kenny Brown and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button. But if you're coming on back, welcome back. What's up, how you doing? Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about me because I want you guys to know more of me. So this is gonna be kind of maybe a two or three parter, but I kind of wanna explain to you guys why I am the way I am. So a lot of you in the YouTube world know I have a lot of YouTube acquaintances, I have a lot of YouTube friends, I have a lot of connections, I guess, but I really don't. A lot of people are like, oh, you're friends with so-and-so, you're friends with X, Y, and Z. That really don't mean nothing at the end of the day because in my opinion right now, I can't provide nobody nothing. I don't provide them money, I don't provide them views, but what I can provide them is me. And I know I'm enough and I know my worth. And the reason why I want to explain this to you guys is because I feel like over the last year and a half that I moved out to LA, it was my fault for assuming and expecting people to care about me when I didn't give them a reason to, right? And it's just like at these days and times, it's just like, oh, what I've done, isn't that enough? And apparently it's not. So here we are on the YouTube grind again, uh, trying to find a seat at the table. And there's plenty of space, but in my brain, I'm like, why are you trying to sit at this table? It's very clear that you don't belong here. You need to go sit at another table where people will appreciate you, know your worth, know your value, and bring you in. Now, no shade to any of the other people that I have ever met or any of my other friends, but the friends currently that I have that y'all consider me to be friends with just ain't doing it. There's so many times where I put so much energy and so much effort into wanting to be friends with people and it just doesn't happen. Now, granted, some of those relationships are five years, 10 years, two years, whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. The, the, the fact of the matter is the energy just ain't there. The energy just ain't there. And I try, but because I'm not there yet as far as numbers I'm not getting called back saying, hey, being in this video, I am now an option. And I'm like, I should never be nobody's option. So let me give you a reason why I should be your priority. And now we're back on YouTube, letting these mother suckers know why I should have been your priority and let them know. And I know why I'm like this. It's the Sagittarius in me. I was raised in a way to give people love and positivity. And I will continue to do that. Newsflash, y'all. If you didn't know, I'm gay. All right, so for me to be trying to sit at a table full of people who don't know anything about queerness or LGBTQIA plusness, or even if like they do, they don't, they don't live it, it's, it's, I'm at the wrong table. I need to find more queer people. I need to find more black people to connect with. So LA, beautiful, I'm here. Please hit me up, even if it's just for a luncheon. Help me learn. And people are like, oh, all of the answers are out there. Don't you dare tell that lie to people because they're not. Y'all be keeping these little secrets and I'm here to not tell the secrets, but I'm here to learn because I believe I deserve a seat at the table. Why? Because I'm freaking downtown Kenny Brown, damn it. That's why. All right. <laughs> That's why. And the reason why I'm like this is because a lot of people don't know this, but like last year, was it 2022? I believe it was last year. Wait. Yeah. Because we're in 23 now. This year went by quick. Last year, I officially came out to my parents. My parents were raised in the Jamaican Christian household. So you can understand how that affected them. And my parents, unfortunately, are not about that life. They, they will, I don't believe that they will ever consider to change their mind about me being queer. Other people, they don't really care about because, you know, th that's not their child. You know what I'm saying? And it's very unfortunate that I, this, it was not an overnight decision of, oh, I'm sleep one day straight, wake up the next day. Now I've been like this for a minute. And the reason why I tell y'all this is because all of that love and that careness and that affectionness that I put onto other people that, that, that I want to give someone, 
I do that to other people because I didn't have that when it actually came to really being me. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Downtown Kenny Brown. I'm coming to you live from the editor's booth and how to pull out a quick Keith Lee moment right here. Just want you guys to know that my parents, they do love me. I am blessed, okay? I just want to make sure y'all know that, that I am loved, all right? And I just want to channel the love that they gave me into other people. Now, will they ever understand the look of a particular community? Now, listen, that's for a whole nother video, but I just want to let y'all know that I'm blessed. And I'm loved and I don't want y'all coming sideways on my parents thinking that I'm not. All right, back to the video. I know what it is to feel loved and I know what it is to produce love and I know what it is to produce positivity and that's what I want to do with that here on this platform and that's what I want to do with every friendship that I have. I want to give you my all but when I got here and I'm just like baby that's unnecessary because like people don't deserve that. And I had to learn that lesson the hard way, pimp. I really did. I had to learn the hard way, like, not everybody deserves that love, Kenny. Not everybody deserves that positivity because you have people out here in LA that will be like, baby, I just want to use you or have you because you're an option because my other people didn't, didn't come through. There was a time where this beautiful world of Twitch live streaming, right? There was a time where I had a friend who needed a body for a YouTube video that they were shooting. They were doing a YouTube video and they, they were doing this thing called a subathon on Twitch where they stay live for long periods of time, right? And I haven't heard from this friend in over six months. And even though I've tried to reconnect, tried to text message, tried to call, no answer, no answer, no answer, no answer. And then, you know, I go to their little live chat to show support because that's the type of nigga I am, right? I go and try to show support. Everybody in the chat is fucking with. Everybody's like, yo, what's good? How you doing? How you loving life? And I'm like, it's good. Thanks for asking, yada, yada. And then, you know, the chat is like, yo, ask Kenny. And I'm like, ask me what? And so it turns out to be, hey, we need you for a video. And I'm like, I'm an option, not a priority here. But you know what? I haven't seen y'all in a minute. It would be really nice to rekindle. It'd be really nice just to be in the ambiance. And it's not like I live far. I live 30 minutes away. So let me drive to LA, my gas, not asking for payment. Hell, I don't even have a camera in my bag or in my, um, in my, in my car because I'm not here to try to get content for me even though that's the grand scope of content creation, right? But that's not the type of person I am. I'm here just to lend a body, to lend a soul, to help you because I believe in you and I believe in your project. I'm not here to use people for their content to get me to the next level. I don't believe you step on the people who help you. You ride with them to the top instead of stepping on them and going. But multiple people do that in, here in LA. You just gotta learn, baby. You just gotta learn who is who, right? So as I'm going down there, I get in a little fender bender. And I'm like, oh snap, let me let them know. Hey, I got in a fender bender. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to make it, right? Didn't even get a response. No, are you okay? Do you need any help? What, what like? Are you good? Didn't even get a response. And that was the day when I knew like, wow, you really don't fuck with me. And that's tragic. You really don't mess with me. I was just an option to you. And that hurt because like that friendship was something that I really strived with and thought was going to be a lifelong friendship. And I just was just like, damn, like, I would love to talk to you and, 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 and like reside this problem, but you don't even return a text message unless it works for you. And that's crazy because I thought we were friends. And I'm learning this lesson the hard way and I just wanna be verbal with you guys and let y'all know like how it is. And obviously I wanna protect my brand, the downtown Kenny Brown staple that it is. And I wanna protect their brand because this person is not a bad person. This person is a great person. I think this person's amazing. However, this was just a bad experience that really shed the skin of what we really are as far as a, a, as a relationship. I go to live chat to get everything figured out to say like, hey, what's up? Um, just to see how the stream is gonna go, just to see how, like, how it's gonna go without me. And I see people asking like, I hear the person say, hey, we're gonna start. 
And then obviously I see the chat like, oh, where's Kenny? Where's Kenny? Where's Kenny at? And the person holding the camera is like, yo, the chat want to know where Kenny B is. And the individual was like, oh, I don't know. He has something better to do or something along those lines. And that really like gut checked me. And I'm like, you don't got to lie, Craig. You could tell them what happened. You don't got to lie. But the fact that you didn't even say, are you okay? You didn't even bother to ask. And then you want to tell people something that's not the truth is for somebody who gains nothing from being there who gains nothing so it just really hurt and that's why i'm so sensitive about my friendships and my relationships and that's just one example i definitely want to go and tell you guys more stories later on in my youtube world about what's been going on and 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 how certain things happen I might even start something that called that that's literally said, hey, I met Amber Riley one time and then tell you the story because that did happen. But that's for another video. Um, <laughs> but it's just like I, I, I just want to show you guys like the love and the passion that I have, not only for filming content, but being with people who want to be around me. And that significant experience was one of those experiences that I was just like, if you don't want to be around me, just tell me. I, I will build a bridge. I will cry river build a bridge and get over it and then keep it pushing because unfortunately this relationship that i loved or that i have that i still kind of have respect for even though some of you might say i shouldn't some of you should probably gonna say i, I wouldn't waste my time I, I shouldn't right but something deep in my heart maybe it's that affection or that love that i was neglected to and i want to hold on to something that i found that i care so much about is gone. So please don't just automatically assume that like, oh, Kenny Brown, you'll be fine. You, you're a partner on Twitch. You got X amount of YouTubers. Y'all, I'm struggling out here too. I'm a gay black man in America. You don't think I'm struggling? Hello? <laughs> like, let's be real. I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. I'm trying. So with that said, y'all, like it is what it is at the end of the day. So don't think that I'm good. We getting there, but we ain't there. You know what I'm saying? Last year was a lot for me. I went through a relationship. I had a boyfriend for a while. That's my first time admitting it on camera. And I, and my emotions are like, what? <laughs> and we're not together anymore. And that's fine. No, it's not. But we're, we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> but it's, it is what it is. You know? It's one of those things I'm a person too. And we're all people at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, I think that everybody should be treated with love and positivity and kindness. And if you got bullshit, bullshit don't exist at this table. Just tell me what it is and let me go. So I can continue putting the energy and the time into people and things that I truly care about. That is all I ask. Miss me on that BS so I can be with people who want to be a part of downtown Kenny Brown or who Kenny Brown wants to be a part of. Um, I want to be a part of things. I want to act. I would love to be on Abbott Elementary. Girl, the way I have a story about Quinta Brunson that I'm going to tell y'all someday, <laughs> okay? The way I, I have a story about that, and I can't wait to tell y'all. Some of y'all been on the Instagram and been seeing me in the Hollywood at the studios. I've been doing some things, okay? I've been doing some things, even with this strike. I've been doing some things. Don't come for me. I'm trying out here. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys what's been sitting on my chest for a minute and just let y'all know, like, hey, I'm just here to spit positivity and love. And I'm not here to deal with bullcrap. Now, y'all could watch this video and honestly, truly, y'all could try to twist it whatever way y'all want to. Because at the end of the day, I don't, I don't think I said anything really negative or harmful. I, I really don't. And when I rewatch it, I really don't want to take anything out because it's my truth. And this is just my opinion and my standfold. Um, and if you got a problem with that, text me. And if you don't have my number, you're not that close to me to have a problem with it. Your, 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 your opinion is valid, but it's just that an opinion. So with that said, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. It is what it is at the end of the day. It's your boy, Downtown Kenny Brown. Have a nice day. And that's just how this cookie crumbles. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.